as a victim and survivor of narcissistic abuse, there is three things you understand, you realize about a narcissist. The narcissist will not heal. Okay? The narcissist will not heal. The narcissist will never change. And there's simply nothing you can do. You also have to understand, it's very important for you as a survivor, that, you know, you may not have figured this thing, uh, this thing out way back in time. But you're going to understand that you didn't cause that you, di you didn't cause them it, it wasn't your fault you didn't cause them to be like that you also need to understand that they are not going to stop okay don't want uh, wake up one day and you think that the narcissist is going to wake up and all of a sudden they realize what they have been doing and they are going to start changing and stuff like that they are going they are not going to change so they will not stop knocking around and destroying people and another third thing which is very important to understand as a survivor. The narcissist cannot change. It will take you a, a, a very long time in those relationships to realize that that particular individual, they cannot change. So how you know that the person cannot change is when... Let's say, for example, you're in a relationship and you have seen some things that are strange and weird. You've been asking the meaning of the things they have said or the meaning of the things they have done. And um, for some mysterious reason, they have, they have pretended maybe they stopped for a minute or maybe a day or two. And then the third day, they are going to repeat that same thing. So they are going through a very long destructive cycle. Even if they want to change, even if they wake up and then they say, okay, maybe I want to change today, they may do it for a day or two. I've been with the nurses, so I know. I know how these people operate. And after two or three days, they are going to repeat that same thing they have done. You will complain about it. They will stop for two minutes. The next day, they are going to repeat that same action. So it's a cycle. Now, when the narcissist goes on hurting people, what really happens is that you stop trying too hard. You know, you stop trying too hard to save the relationship, maybe to save the friendship. You stop trying too hard to fix them. Because you've already tried. Believe me, if you're a very good person with good intentions, you have already tried so many times to fix them. You've tried to help them. You've been there for them. You could do whatever it is you could do. Nothing worked. It couldn't. It just simply couldn't work. Now, as the time progresses, the narcissists uh, start getting. Uh, they start getting older. Okay, so they lose these looks. The makeup can no longer fit on their faces. Their bodies are tired, you know, they are getting like, they, don't, they no longer have that vigor, you know, that vigor that they used to have before. And normally what is really happening is that, like I've told you that these people are walking a very destructive pattern and cycle. So there is a lot of people who notice. Have you ever been in a situation where you ran into somebody and they knew your partner? And these people were like, are you so-and-so's wife? And you said, yes. I saw and saw his husband and he said yes. The only thing you saw these people that was just shaking their head and they moved away. They actually couldn't tell you the details. So there is, that means that those people, they know. They know that individual. They know how they operate. They know what they do. They know the cycle. They have already been with them for, for years. They know how they think. That person is actually feeling sorry for you. They just know that you, you, you don't know what is happening. They know that probably you're unawakened. You don't know what is happening, but they are really feeling sorry, feeling sorry for you. They don't know how you got in there, and they don't know when you get out. But God may be with you, and you may still get out of it. Now, as the time progresses, like I've said, many people start leaving the narcissists, 
okay? Many people start detaching, you know, they're like, people cannot deal with that kind of toxicity. So, one by one, people start abandoning that narcissist. You will start to see a very long list of people that have abandoned the narcissist, okay? They don't want anything to do with them. And now, the narcissist is getting older. And they are very desperate for supply. Okay, they used to get the supply too easy back in the days. But now they are aging and they are, they are starting to become very desperate for supply. But it feels like they cannot get that supply, the same supply they used to get before. It is too, it's too difficult for them because they, they no longer have the money. They no longer have the looks. Probably they have lost everything. They have already lost their homes. Some of them are homeless and stuff like that. And nobody wants to help them. So basically, as the narcissist starts like growing older and older, is the more desperate, the older they get, is the more desperate they become. Anything that can give them any form of supply, even just a little bit, even a drop of it, they are going to rush for it. Anything that can give the narcissist any form of supply, they are going to rush for it because that is how desperate they are. Because they can no longer run to the old victims they used to abuse back in the days. They can no longer run to them for any support. Because those people have already tried to help them in so many ways and all these things have failed. And the narcissist come into this realization that they have got this pattern and a very destructive cycle. They are becoming aware of this destructive pattern and cycle because they are now starting to notice that everybody that they once knew has abandoned them. Nobody wants to deal with them. Nobody even wants to get close to them. Everybody almost knows where they are. So as the narcissist starts uh, aging, you know, they start getting older. They become very lonely. You know, they become very desperate. Some of them will be struggling with, uh, you know, different health conditions, they start getting cancers, they start falling sick, sometimes they cannot even get out of their house, you know, they are full of anxiety, whenever they get out of their house, they feel like everybody knows who they are, so they are coiled up in their own little prison at home. And this even push, pushes them very further into depression, so you guys have to be careful. I'm not saying everybody who is depressed is a narcissist, but you have to be careful about some of the guys that you know, they are out there locking themselves in the house and they are, under, they are going through depression and stuff. They, they are hiding from the entire world. So those people may be narcissists because they are afraid to come out of the house. They are afraid to engage with anybody because they know that everybody already knows who they are. This is like an intuitive feeling. They know that it's almost like everybody knows and can see them for who they are. And they can no longer engage the public to get the supply that they used to get back in the days. So it becomes an extremely lonely situation. In some cases, you may even hear some stories like they found them dead in their own home. Okay, maybe somebody randomly came and knocked on the door. Nobody was whatever, so they forced their way in and they found those nurses. They, are, they, are, they have already died like a couple of days ago. They have been rotting on their beds because they couldn't call anyone. Nobody could listen. They was pleading with people to come around and visit or stuff like that. They need something. They need some help. Nobody was coming around. So it became very serious for them. And they started rotting away in their own homes, in their own bed. In some cases, like I've said, you are now hearing cases of people who have died in their homes and nobody was there. All the family members, let's say, for example, it's a parent. And now a lot of family members have figured out that this parent was narcissistic even if they couldn't see this back in the days. Now they are starting to figure it out. And what they are doing, one by one, they are abandoning these narcissistic parents to go out there and be on their own. Nothing, nobody wants to deal with them, okay? Nobody wants to deal with them. So they die a very lonely and a very painful death. And sometimes you can find... Those people have passed on and it's like nobody even wants to attend the funeral. That is how bad it was, you know, if you want to understand. So a lot of people, when they are talking about narcissistic abuse, there are some people who don't understand how serious this whole thing goes and how very deep this whole thing goes. It is 
as deeper. It goes as deeper as you can imagine. Nobody wants to hear anything. Whether they are alive or dead, actually, in most case scenarios, there's even people that are wishing them they are, you know, wishing them death. There is people, they have done extreme harm to those people, and the only thing they are born to wish them death. They are like alive or dead, they don't care. So sometimes you find a parent, they had like six, seven children, maybe ten, or even sometimes more. Could even sometimes be less. And their own children, they are not coming to attend the funeral. They have refused to come to attend the funeral. Because they know how their parents treated them. They know the pain that their parents put them through. And they have got no business with those individuals, whether they are alive or dead. They have already abandoned them when they were still alive. I can promise you, even sometimes when those people pass on, you are not going to see those people showing up. They don't even come for the funeral. So sometimes when there's this, uh, the funeral of those narcissists, you may sometimes see a lot of their family members are missing. A lot of their exes are missing. You know? Nobody wants to be there. Sometimes you may find strangers. You may even sometimes find the, there's a funeral which, is, which has like five, six people. Nobody has been to that funeral. Nobody has attended. Nobody wants to see that person because of how evil they know that those people are. The evil they have experienced from those people is unexplainable and unimaginable. So nobody wants to see them whether they're alive or dead. In some cases, you see people who have gotten away from narcissists, for example, and they have um, gotten very, very far away from them. You know, when you get away from a narcissist, it's like you want even to move to the next city. That is how disgusting those people are. You want to move to the next city. You don't even want to see them by any chance. You don't even want to run into them. You move to the next city, you never want to see them again. So this keeps on isolating the narcissist day by day. And the more older they get, the more desperate they get, the less supply they can have. So their bodies, they kind of start to decompose. They, are, they abandon themselves. They cannot even get up and, and take a shower. They will stop brushing their teeth. You will see their feet are rotting. They have not even washed their face. They have not even eaten sometimes for days. Even if they have eaten, they have almost been eating raw meat, sometimes even raw food. They completely abandon themselves. Sometimes if you have a chance to maybe walk into their homes by any chance, or anybody walks into their home, people are going to wonder whether there is any alive person that is living in that home because the whole home is in total chaos. They have been holding stuff. You may see sometimes rats are running around. You may see cockroaches. You may see bugs of all types running around the house. They have completely abandoned themselves. The whole house is stinking. Sometimes you're wondering if anybody lives in that home. And I can promise you, even if you come around and clean their house and uh, you know fix things here and there, in the next three months or four months, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to come back to the same thing. So a narcissist has completely abandoned themselves. In the last days of the narcissist, the narcissist dies a very lonely and a very painful death. You know, so most of the times, because you see, when everybody, when everybody abandoned the narcissist, the narcissist is being forced to look at themselves in the mirror. They are being forced to understand the damage that they have caused people over the years. And the more they process this, you know, because they're trying to run away from it. That's why you see a lot of times the narcissist has been running from one victim to another because they couldn't sit down and start processing the things they have been doing to people. But now that everybody has abandoned them, they are being forced to sit down and make a recount of the harm that they've been causing innocent people. And the more they process it in their heads, is the more, they, uh, is the more this, keeps, this thing keeps on torturing them. So they have got a very big conflict in their minds. So sometimes it can get very desperate to an extent where the narcissist may sometimes reach out to some people. Maybe there are some family members. It could be a parent, for example. They may reach out to some people. 
Let me show you know. I, ho I hope you can forgive me. Maybe you want to come around this and this. I want to make it up to you and stuff like that. Because they are realizing that people have finally abandoned them because of the way they behaved and the things that they did to people. But even with the apologies, because you see, the moment you leave a narcissist and you figure out those people are narcissists, most of the people, what they do, they go out there and they are usually educating themselves. They are trying to find out what was, what was happening, what exactly happened. And many people start getting a lot of answers. And the more answers they get, the more detachment. The more answers, the more detachment. And a lot of people have broken trauma bonds with those people. So you know when they call you, it's a fake apology. Whatever it is they're telling you on the other side of the phone is a lie. So you're no longer falling for those lies and you continue to abandon those people. So the narcissist, you best believe, if you have left a narcissist, they're not doing well, okay? It doesn't matter how you want to look at this. They are not doing well. They are going through it all. They are struggling. They are lonely. They have completely abandoned themselves. They are rotting away in their homes, in their own beds. So that is exactly how it all goes down. For a narcissist. I'm sure that many of you guys could have ex experienced this situation. Maybe you've heard about it. Not that you're looking for it, but you could have heard about it from some people. When it's happening, just know that it is not well with the narcissist, okay? It is not well with your ex-narcissist. But there is three things, like I've told you, you always have to remind yourself in your head. You didn't cause this. You wasn't there. Uh, they will never change. And there's nothing you can do, okay? It wasn't, uh, it was, you didn't cause this, so it wasn't your fault. It's just because you was not aware of it. That narcissist will never change. You may come back and forgive them, they are going to go back and knock around. You go forgive me, they will go back and knock around. So it's a cycle, they cannot break the cycle, they cannot get out of it. So they will never change. And the moment you start to understand these things, it is going to give you a whole different level of healing. Your body starts healing spiritually. You start healing physically. You stop investing any form of energy into those individuals because you now know who they are. Okay? So let us know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Let us know in the comment section below. You guys know I do love and appreciate your support. Please book a session if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I will catch you guys in my next one. There's the most signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.